Hey, 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 good morning, Tech Busters. It's Lori. Happy Friday. I uh, hope you're having a great day. Friday is usually the day that we start looking at our goals and see if we, we've accomplished them, or at least uh, if you have not accomplished as many, maybe as many as you um, thought you would, then it's a great time to, fo to decide what you're going to focus on today. Um, I'm actually shooting outside today because it's probably the first nice day we've had in a while. So you may get some background noise, so uh, just ignore it for now. Um, the other thing you want to do is to, for those goals that you have either exceeded or met, you want to celebrate your wins because it's important to celebrate when you've done things well. So today I want to talk about how do, what do you do when you have somebody who you've approached with your business, they've said no, but you really want them to say yes. How do you get them to say yes? And I actually get asked this question quite a bit. So uh, I thought I'd shoot this video and um, share with you one of the, um, a conversation I had with a, uh, with a lady last night. So the answer to the question is, you may never get them to say yes. I think there's a couple of things that you need to keep in mind when you're looking at people for your, whether it's as a customer or as a business opportunity. Uh, the first thing is, how open are they? Um, if they're really not open or interested, then quite honestly, why would you try to convert them? Um, you really want people, you know, I, I understand that, and I, and I went through the same thing when I first started out, that, you know, you really want to get people into your business. But you know what? You really want to get the right people into your business. Because getting somebody who's either not interested or, eh, maybe they'll try it, those people usually don't stick around very long. So you're going to waste a lot of time and energy on somebody for, for them to either just not to show up or for them to, to eventually leave. So always evaluate whether that person's a, a, a fit for your business. But the second way, and the, the thing that people uh, sometimes don't realize is no may ne not necessarily mean no. It may mean not now. And it, of course, as you engage with people in your conversation, you're gonna realize whether or not this is something that maybe they're just not interested now in. And the way you get them to come around or potentially to come around is by staying in front of them. So for example, the, if, if you haven't heard this before, people tell you your money is in your list. Now, most lists are email and they're done through like some kind of autoresponder. Um, and I'll cover that under a, uh, other another section at some time. Uh, or it's just from time to time potentially reaching out to somebody. But when s someone says no initially, what you want to do is, a, you, again, you want to figure out whether it's a, it's a no, no, or yeah, no, not now. And then what you'll do from time to time, you'll follow up with them. Just checking in, just seeing how they are and seeing if they're still open. Because keep in mind, people's um, life happens and situations for people change throughout a period of time. And it's about you still staying in front of that person that when all of a sudden maybe a situation in their life changes, you're there to at least, or they've seen you to say, hey, I need, I'm now ready for that business opportunity. So um, just keep in mind that um, you'll have to evaluate, you have to talk to people and figure out whether or not they're open. And if they're kind of on the fence, then what I would do is I would put them on my list and make it a point to follow up with them at some later point in time. So I hope that helps. Um, I actually spoke to a woman last night as part of my, my marketing and as part of me reaching out. You know, um, I saw a woman on uh, one of the Facebook groups who posted that uh, she wasn't happy about She wasn't happy and she was looking. She was looking for a business. So, of course, everybody's pitching their link in, in the comments section. And if that's you, don't do that. Because quite honestly, you look like everybody else. So what I did is I decided 
to tackle it a different way. So I sent her a message. And I basically said, and I just reached out to her and I said, hey, I said, um, I saw you in one of the Facebook groups and then I had looked at her profile before I had reached out to her and I saw she was in another company um, or she had posted that she was in another company. And I said, oh, I see you're in the company name. I said, how's it going? Very simple, very simple, e very simple message. So she responded right away and she starts complaining about her upline, that her upline's no good, that that's, she's not in that company anymore because they didn't help her. So I say, okay, now I know she's looking for somebody to support her and somebody who's going to be there to help her. So now I changed, I said, oh, I said, really? I said, oh, I said, how long were you in the company for? And she and I chat back and forth for, for a couple minutes. Then I, I said, well, I said, um, you know, do you have any other companies or are you open? So she says, well, she goes, yeah, she goes, I would be open. So I said, well, okay, told her a little bit about mine. And I said, you know, I said, if you want, I said, I have this five minute video. I said that you can take a quick look at. And if it's a fit, great. And if it's not, it's not. So I send her the, the, the link. Uh, and so she says, yes, I send her the link. It's important. You never should send a link unless somebody has agreed to accept that link. Sent her the link. She took a look and she's like, I'm interested. I said, great. So I said, the next steps is to really, you know, look at a 30 minute presentation because it'll go through the business. It'll go through it as a customer. It'll go through it as a business, whatever. So she responds, is this? the company. So I, I don't lie. So I say, yes, matter of fact, it is. I said, obviously you've seen this before. <laughs> well, her disposition <laughs> quickly changed and she's like, I don't have any money. I don't have a credit card. I don't have this. I don't have that. I can't do it. So I go, so, you know, when people get defensive, the worst thing you can do is try to feed into that defense. Your best plan of attack is to say, hey, I understand. It's not a fit for everybody, but you know what? That's fine. I enjoy chatting with you. So at first I was going to ask her, you know, did she have a bad experience? And she went rattling off. So I said, yep, okay, no worries. So when I said no worries, she rattled off again. I don't have a credit card. I don't have this. It's not a fit. Blah, blah, blah. So I finally said, that's fine. I said, not a problem. I said, it was great chatting with you. Have a good evening. Now, quite honestly, someone like that, I probably won't bring into my business because when you're that defensive and you've started a conversation that way, it just tells me that you've had this bad experience and you may be closed. And when you're closed, I can't really, I can't teach someone like that. So, um, I have just, so I decided to just move on and I, I continued to just reach out to people as part of my, um, my goals. So as we talked about in the beginning of the week, my goal, some of the goals that I look for in terms of, you know, if you're trying to figure out what goals you should set for yourself. And if you haven't set any goals, please this weekend, take the time to put some goals down. It can be very simple as how many people did I add to my friends list? How many people, if you have an autoresponder, how many people did I add to my emails list? How many times did I do a Facebook Live? So I, ex so I, sh um, I, I expand my reach and my audience. It can be as simple as that. So anyway, rock it out today. If there's anything, anything that you um, have from a technical perspective that you would like me to cover in this group, I'm happy to do this, to do that. Later on today, I am going to go live and I am going to show you how to, for some of you who have um, a business opportunity or links that you send to people and it has maybe your name associated with the link, I'm going to show you how to mask it. There's two ways to do it and um, it may help you in your business. So have a great Friday. I will talk to you later.